Hello, welcome to my channel. This is Darcy's Misadventures with Mixed Media. And today, in this video, which was yesterday for me, I'm playing, doing some gel plate play. And my goal here was to get some rainbowy bright colors from my black and white glue folio. Don't let the name fool you. It starts out black and white, and the whole point is for me to use colorful collage papers with in conjunction with the black and white papers to make some fun collage art in my my glue book folio and the idea for the black and white glue book folio came from nicole at relax cut glue so go check her out um so yeah that was my my desire today and i just went ahead because i think golden has a lot of nice fun bright colors especially their transparent ones I just grabbed all my golden paint and I'm just playing with golden paints today except for when I pull one of the prints. So that's why you get the title It's All Golden because I'm using golden paints. Um, I, I enjoy the golden paints. I know they cost more. Um, I think they're worth it because I just have so much fun with them and I really like the results that I get. So as you can see, I'm just kind of putting down a layer of paint, putting down the stencil, taking off the stencil, adding a second layer of um, a paint through the holes so that I get a double color. And then I let it dry and then I put on a pull layer and then put the paper on and let that dry a little bit and then I'll pull them. And that is the um, process for all of these. This one made a big mistake. I used fluid acrylics for both, and I just ended up with a big mess. But, you know, got a nice uh, print out of this using the paper, the paper towel, the baby wipe. So you just use a baby wipe, and you just wipe all around there. You're seeing that in four times speed, unless you're watching on YouTube at double speed. Then you saw that at eight times speed. Because <laughs> I figured, you know, it's just wiping paint into the middle. I could have taken it out. Or I could double, double, quote, double speed the double speed. <laughs> anyway, this is my fourth time recording because the first time I didn't save the video right away. The second time I was worried that I didn't do it right and that I was then going to end up with a double recording. So I undid the thing and still didn't get a recording. And then this time, which is after I did some editing to, you know, take out tens of seconds of footage so I wouldn't have to talk as long uh I forgot to press record <laughs> I'm like sitting there talking and then I look up and I'm like oh, I didn't press record so fingers crossed that this one will take uh this is i iMovie is really easy for some things like you know taking out sections speeding up sections and stuff like that but I've never done a voiceover with iMovie before, and, uh, yeah, it's, it's not been going well for me today. So I might miss some, t some points. Uh, this one, that, that last one ended up not being rainbowy, but I was playing with the color challenge, uh, for makers of mixed media art and artists on Facebook. Uh, June's color challenge. If you watch Carrie the Griffith, Carrie the Griffith, Carrie Griffith, Carrie the Crafter, you already know it's ultramarine blue and cheddar. And that was just a play for me to see, you know, just anyway. Uh, so, oh my goodness, I don't know what I've said and what I haven't said in which video where. Yesterday, my husband was working from home. Oh, you're going to hear all the outside noise because the window's open and I'm not closing the window. I already turned off the fan for y'all because I'm nice like that, but not closing the window. <laughs> I'm not sure if that's Leo or somebody else's dog. Ow! Cramp, 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 cramp. Oh, my goodness. So, yeah, fourth time recording this. Ugh, so frustrated with myself. Oh, okay. So, the color combo is cheddar and ultramarine blue and then i'm picking it up with an iridescent blonde bronze which are and but of course this is quinacridone azo nickel azo gold not cheddar but it's fairly it's not too far off from a cheddar really um and carrie made like a cheddar on his channel using an like orange and yellow and then if you like a dirty cheddar patricia pam artist studio has a video where she just look up cheddar pam artist studio and cheddar <laughs> you might come up but I think she had she had an orange mix that she had and then added some blue and some yellow 
and got a nice dirty cheddar using a color that was called cheddar that she really liked as as her um as as her you know trying to match is what she was trying to match is what i'm trying to say words words are hard especially the fourth time all right i'll stop complaining about that so this afternoon so yesterday husband was home i i knew that i wasn't gonna get quiet time but i wanted to play in the gel plate so i turned on the camera and uh watched some youtube while i while i uh played on the gel plate and um hubby came and talked to me at some point so i'm like okay god i'm not recording for real real you know with the voice and everything and then this afternoon it's fairly quiet because hubby is volunteering at the food pantry which he does every other monday uh, last week was a holiday so i think he had there were two weeks without it maybe i don't know they have to work around the holidays because they just do um so he's there oh this this is where i don't use the golden because that's already wet and i didn't want to waste my open paint my golden uh white paint so i just got the iridescent which actually was probably a good choice you'll see didn't come out too horrible but not what the original plan was um so yeah so he's at the food pantry and nathan is my 22 year old he's just home upstairs adding chocolate to the chili um the first time i recorded this i had been down here six hours straight playing in my glue book and the only thing i had was the rest of my iced coffee and um my son had brought me two soft pretzels with the ch cheddar in the middle, the little ones. He's like, I was like, uh, give me four. He's like, well, two is a serving and that's 20 cups. I'm like, fine, give me two. <laughs> Making me feel guilty. Um, but he has paid, paid attention to carbs because he is type 1 diabetes. Uh, so he was sweet. He, uh, he made those and then brought them down to my husband and I because my husband was working today too from home. So that was the only thing I had eaten at the time when I made the first voiceover recording and then I went up after the second voiceover recording you know I saved it then I was like well that's gonna take a while let me go make supper or eat lunch and then I went ahead and started supper and everything and then listened and I was like oh there's nothing there <laughs> so it's like gotta do this again and then so I then did all the editing and taking out the tens of seconds of a video so I wouldn't have to talk as long and yeah, it's just been a thing. It's just been a whole afternoon of me trying to get this video done. I started at 4. It's now 6.13. So, lucky 13. Maybe this will be the lucky one. Oh, my goodness. And my other son, did I already say this in this video or the last video or when I wasn't recording? My 28, 28. He'll be 28 this month. He's 27. He is at Polka Fest because that's what 27-year-olds love. Polka Fest, right? And my sister-in-law is like, what's Polka Fest? And I'm like, I'm pretty sure it's beer, food, and polka music. Uh, the only thing they really care about. I'm like, I asked, I was like, is there like lots of sausage and stuff? And they're like, there's pierogies. I'm like, I'm sure there's got to be more than just pierogies. But that's all they care about. <laughs> my little pierogi fiends. My son and his girlfriend, whom I call Mija. I feel... I feel like I just talked about that, but it was when I was talking to myself and there was no recording. Anyway, they're having a good time. They're staying at a hotel with an indoor, indoor pool. They're having brunch each morning at a different restaurant. I think the first day was uh, IHOP or something or Denny's or I don't know. Um, and they're just having a good time. Harry, I'm taking the baby wipe again and getting that paint off of there really, really fast. I don't really go that. It's not really that fast in real life. But it's a way to use, you know, to not waste the paint and it's, you know, it's good. It's a good way to not waste paint, especially if you're using open paint. You've got more time to play with it. And then I'm getting layered papers that are just going to be some fun collage, uh, what some people call fodder for the future things. And uh, so, oh, here's the one with the ampersands and the at signs. I had to think about which way to put that one down because uh, some of them do go backwards, I think, but I try to get it where the most of the ampersands and at signs are frontwards when I pick it up, so I have to put it backwards on the plate anyway. That's a whole thing, too. So, yeah. There's some... I gotta make sure I save some of this ultramarine blue because uh, I need it for the color challenge. I'm behind on the color challenge. I haven't even done March 
That's what happens. See, March, we were sick for about a week. April, I had to go out of town for a week unexpectedly. And then this month, I'm not this month, May, I was sick for a week. And, you know, totally unfocused. So there goes my word for the year. And my word for the year is focus. Um, I mean, I did get my craft room, you know, very much improved. This particular stencil is from Joggles. Most of my stencils are from PM Artist Studio. Some are from Joggles and some are from iStencil. And the rest are all just random Amazon ones. If you ever have a question about a specific stencil or paint color, just do the timestamp and, you know, whatever your question is. That way I know what you're talking about. Because sometimes people say make references to something and I'm like... I had I have to go watch the whole video to figure out what they're talking about because someone said something one time uh, about, you know, your husband, did he find his thing? And I'm like, what? And I went through, I'm like, oh, you mean my son? Because <laughs> not everybody realizes that, you know, my my boys are adults. <laughs> they all have, it's all me, it's me and four men. My dad, when he's here, my husband and my two, my two men, my two boys, my two, they're still my boys. Dad is up in Maine for the summer, and uh, it was hotter there some of the days this week than it is here. And we've had more spring than usual. It's June, and it was like low 70s today, and I'm just so happy about that. You don't even know, because usually our spring is so short, and then it's like, boom, just living in the AC for the rest of the summer. So yeah, dad's in Maine, Joel's in Pennsylvania for a week, and then as soon as he comes back, he goes to uh, my nephew's wedding, which Nathan and I are not going to because it's an outdoor, semi-formal wedding. I would have to buy a dress and shoes, and Nathan would have to wear like a tie and shirt and pants, and because of his Addison's disease, his temp, like if he gets hot he can't cool down easily. If he gets very cold, he can't warm up easily. Like, it takes longer for some reason. I don't know if that's Addison's type 1 diabetes or just him, but, oh, I put way too much of that paint. That paint was the quinacridone violet fluid acrylic, by the way. So, Nathan didn't really want to go, and I didn't want to spend money on his, like, he doesn't have any dressy outfits either. So, my husband and my older son are going... Because um, Joel's closer to Alvin's age anyway. Um, so they're going to go on Friday, spend the night at Mike's mom's, and hopefully have a really fun weekend. And Nathan and I are going to hang out here, and not sure if we'll order something Friday night for supper, or just eat the P.F. Chang's I've got in the freezer that I got at Target earlier this week. We'll do something. We'll have something good. We'll, we'll, celebrate. we'll celebrate my nephew and his future bride. And... And their future endeavors. He did get his orders so they know where he's going at least. And it's not overseas, it's states. Oh, I used, I had, fortunately, I had my two inch prayer, which I've decided to call Buddy. You missed whatever recording that was. <laughs> but yeah, when you are got little holes like that and you're trying to get deep, down deep into them, you want to use a smaller brayer. Like the biggest brayer you would want to use is four inch. But if you've got a two inch, it, I had a lot more luck with the two inch. Don't know why I started with a six inch. It was just me being weird. And then at some point, I wanted to talk about barons. Of course, I'm not using a baron right now. But when you see me see that, when you see me use that round uh, brown wood thing, it's called a baron. And it helps. I don't always remember to use it, but it does help my shoulder. Because usually what I would do is I would use my brayer, which is that rolly thing. And I would use it when I was pushing the paper down on too. But that is a lot of repetitive motion using the brayer to put the paint down and then using the brayer on the paper as well. So using the Baron really helps um, with that. Uh, sometimes I'll use my hands too. But paper is very drying to your hands. So, you know... You don't want to use your hands too much on the paper. You're just going to have really dry hands. See, there I used the brayer. But for the most, and I did use my hands one time, but I think all the other times I used a baron. Where can you get a really cool wood baron that's even cooler than the one that I have? I like to support other small business owners. And Anthony Cody, who is uh, Cody Woodcrafts on Etsy, 
has really cool barons. And you might think they cost a lot, but when you go see what a cheap baron is, which is not even cheap, they, they don't work nearly as well. The wood ones he makes, they're really smooth on the bottom. And, um... And the wood is finished, so you're not, like, feeling, like, rough wood. Like, I have issues with wood. Like, wooden spoons and popsicle sticks, I, I can't touch. I can't even think about them. I get the shivers. Um, and I don't have a problem like that with the Baron. And the bottom is even smoother now that I've been using it on paper and stuff. So, like, because I'm holding it in my hand right now. And, like, the bottom is, like, it's like uh, you could roller skate on it. And, oh, man. I remember the first time I roller skated at a roller rink. Up until that point, we had always roller skated on the street because we lived on a dead end. And so, you know, there's there's resistance on a concrete road. And on, on a, at a roller rink, there's no resistance. It's like I had such a struggle. Oh, my goodness. It was, oh, it was... I, I just will never forget that feeling of what the heck I used to be able to roller skate and now I can't. Oh my goodness gracious. But yeah, so we lived on a dead end when I was growing up and roller skating, riding our bikes, hide and seek. Uh, there was a dead, it was a dead end that ended at the woods and there was a creek down in the woods. We played a lot in the woods, uh, looking for frogs and salamanders in the little creek and the creek connected to the Namaskit River. So if you were to follow the creek, which you couldn't really because there's, you know, really dense woods in some places, you would end up at the Namaskit River or the Heron Run, um, which is in Middleborough, Massachusetts. That's where I grew up. And uh, it's also a Tom Thumb Museum there. And because uh, uh, Tom Thumb's wife was from there. If you don't know who Tom Thumb is, how do you not know who Tom Flem is? I don't know. He was in the circus, right? I don't know. He was a little person. There's a whole museum. There's lots of pictures of them and everything. It's really cute. I better start paying attention because we'll get close to the end here. And then I'll, like, miss my closing like I do on some voiceovers. Uh, this uh, number one number, those are words, Darcy, not numbers. Always make sure you put your words and numbers backwards when you put them on the gel plate. So when you pick them up. They're frontwards, like I've done here. Um, and this stencil is an eye stencil, and it's Carol Doobie. And I don't know if you could see where I was, like, messing with it when I was, wipe after I, like, wiped the, um, used the, the baby wipe to get the ink, the, the paint. It, some of the letters, some of the things were flipping up. And that's what I like about Pam Artist Studio. Stencils is Mariah is, like real persnickety about things flipping up. She doesn't like them to be flipping up too much. And um, it's a good thing because otherwise it gets really annoying. <laughs> Especially if you're like doing things you shouldn't be. But you know, sometimes there are. And you gotta be careful with stencils, especially word stencils. Okay, we're getting near the end. You can tell because I'm not starting new things on the gel plates. And when I start stacking them like that, that's, you know, you can tell I'm getting towards the end. And the, um, I used quinacridone nickel azo gold, which browned out the blue, which is kind of cool. And so I can use that. That'd be kind of orange in the background. So here we are going through them and, uh, showing them all at the end. So if you want to see them slower, just slow down my, I'll try to talk really fast. So if you slow down the video, then you can hear me slower. If you slow down the video, <laughs> just kidding. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you stay to the end, Tell me, because this is what happened in the very first recording. I was drinking iced coffee, and I said, tell me how you like your coffee. Oh, my goodness. So tell me in the comments how you like your coffee. Then I'll know you stayed till the end. And I hope you enjoyed the video, and you can show your appreciation by hitting that like button. And comments are very, very helpful. I hope you have a delightful day. Love you.